I live in South Central. This is South Central. Liquor stores, fast food, vacant lots. So the city planners, they get together, and they figure they're going to change the name South Central to make it represent something else. So they change it to South Los Angeles. Like this is going to fix what's really going wrong in the city. <laughs> this is South Los Angeles. <laughs> Liquor stores. Fast food, <laughs> vacant lots. Just like 26.5 million other Americans, I live in a food desert, South Central Los Angeles, home of the drive-through and the drive-by. Funny thing is, the drive-throughs are killing more people than the drive-by. People are dying from curable diseases in South Central Los Angeles. For instance, the obesity rate in my neighborhood is like five times higher than, say, Beverly Hills, which is like probably eight, ten miles away. I got, I got tired of, of, of seeing this happening, and I, I wonder, how would you feel if you had no access to healthy food? If every time you walk out your door, you see the ill effects that the present food system have on your neighborhood? I see, I see wheelchairs bought and sold like used cars. I see dialysis centers popping up like Starbucks, and I figured <laughs> this has to stop. <laughs> so, so I, I, I figured that the the problem is the solution. Food is the problem, and food is the solution. Plus, I got tired of driving 45 minutes round trip to get an apple that wasn't impregnated with pesticides. So what I did, I planted a food forest in front of my house. It's on the strip of land that we call a parkway. It's like 150 feet by like 10 feet. The thing is, it's owned by the city, but you have to maintain it. So I'm like, cool. I can do whatever the hell I want. <laughs> since, I, since it's my responsibility and I got to maintain it, and this is how I decided to maintain it. So me and my group, LA Green Grounds, we got together and we started planting my food for us, fruit trees, you know, the whole nine, for vegetables. What we do, we're, we're a pay-it-forward kind of group, where it's composed of like, gardeners from all walks of life from all over the city, and it's completely volunteer, and everything we do is free. And in the garden, it was beautiful. And then somebody complained. The city came down on me, <laughs> and, they, and basically gave me a citation saying that I had to remove my garden, which this citation would turn into a warrant. And I'm like, come on, really? A warrant for planting food on a, on a piece of land that you could care less about? <laughs> and I was like, cool, bring it. Because this time it wasn't coming up. So LA Times got, got hold of it. Steve Lopez did a story on it and, and um, talked to the councilman. And one of the Green Grounds members, they put up a, a petition on change.org. And with 900 signatures, we were a success. We had a victory on our hands. My councilman even called and, uh, and said how they endorse and love what we're doing. I mean, come on, why wouldn't they? L.A. leads the United States in vacant lots that the city actually owns. They own 26 square miles of vacant lots. That's 20 central parks. That's enough space to plant 700 million, <laughs> 725 million tomato plants. Why in the hell would they not okay this? <laughs> Growing one plant will give you 1,000, 10,000 seeds. Okay. When one dollar's worth of, of green beans will give you like $75 worth of produce. It's like my, it's my gospel. I'm telling people, grow your own food. Growing your own food is like printing your own money. <laughs> I read. Thank you. I have a legacy in South Central. I, I, I grew up there. I raised my sons there. And I refuse to be a, a part of this manufactured reality that was manufactured for me by some other people, and I manufactured my own reality. See, I'm an artist. Gardening 
is my graffiti. I grow my art. Just like a graffiti artist, where they beautify walls, me, I beautify lawns, parkways. I, I, I use the garden, the soil, like it's a, a piece of cloth. And the, and the plants and the, and the trees, that, that's my embellishment for that cloth. You'd be surprised what, 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 what uh, the soil could do if you let it be your canvas. You just couldn't imagine how amazing a sunflower is and how it affects people. So what, what, what happened? I, I have witnessed my garden become a tool for the education, a tool for the transformation of my neighborhood. To change the community, you have to change the composition of the soil. We are the soil. You'd be surprised how kids are affected by this. Gardening is the most therapeutic and defiant act you can do, especially in the inner city. Plus, you get strawberries. <laughs> I remember this time, um, there was this mother and a daughter came. They, you know, they were, they were, it was like 10.30 at night, and they were in my yard. And um, I came out, and they looked so ashamed. You know, I saw, I'm like, man, they, they, it made me feel bad that they were there. And I told them, you know, you don't have to do this like this. This is on the street for a reason. Um, it, it made me feel ashamed to see people that was this close to me that was hungry. And this, this, only, this only reinforced why I do this. And people ask me, Finn, aren't you free, fr afraid people are going to steal your food? And I'm like, hell no, I ain't afraid they're going to steal it. That's why it's on the street. That's the whole idea. <laughs> I want them to take it, but in the same time, I want them to take back their health. There's, there's another time when, when I, put a, I, put this, uh, I put a garden in this homeless shelter in downtown Los Angeles. The guys, they helped me unload the truck. It was cool, they, and, and they just shared the stories about how th this affected them and how they used to plant with their mother and their grandmother, and it was just, it was just cool to see how this, how this changed them if it was only for that, for that one moment. So Green Grounds has gone on to plant maybe like 20 gardens. We've had like people, like 50 people come to our dig-ins and participate, and it's all volunteers. If kids grow kale, kids eat kale. <laughs> if they grow tomatoes, they eat tomatoes. But when, but when none of this is, is, is presented to them, if they're not shown how food affects the mind and the body, they blindly eat whatever the hell you put in front of them. I, I, I see young people, and um, they want to work. But they're in this thing where they're caught up. I see kids of color, and, and they just on this track that's designed for them um, that leads them to nowhere. So with, with gardening, I see an opportunity where we can train these kids to, to, to take over their communities, to, to have a sustainable life. And, and, and when we do this, who knows? We might, have, we might produce the next George, George Washington Carver. But if we don't change the composition of the soil, we will never do this. Now, this is, this is one of my plans. This is what I want to do. I want to plant a whole block of gardens it was just where people can share in the food in the same block. I, wa I want to take shipping containers and turn them into healthy cafes. And, and now, now, don't get me wrong. I'm not talking about no free shit. Because free is not sustainable. The funny thing about sustainability, you have to sustain it. <laughs> what I'm talking about is putting people to work and getting, and, and, and getting kids off the street and letting them know the joy, the pride, and the honor in growing your own food, opening farmers markets. So, so what I want to do here, I, we got to make this sexy. So I want us all to become evolutionary, renegades, gangsters, gangster gardeners. We got to change of a, we got to flip the script on what a gangster is. If you ain't a gardener, you ain't gangster. Get gangster with, get gangster with your shovel, okay? And let that be your weapon of choice. So, so. So. 
So, so basically, if you, if you want to meet with me, you know, um, if you want to meet, don't call me if you want to sit around in, in cushy chairs and have meetings where you talk about doing some shit, where you talk about doing some shit. If you want to meet with me, come to the garden with your shovel so we can plant some shit. Peace. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.